It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the morning edition. This is for Thursday, the 28th of October. I'm James Spann. Windy, much cooler today. We'll have some rain at times, and it's going to feel more like winter tomorrow as a very deep upper low sets up just northeast of Alabama. Let's take a look at things this morning. Look at that very dynamic negative tilt upper trough that will be evolving into that deep upper low across the region over the next 24 hours. That was the radar early this morning, a little before 5 o'clock. Had still rain falling over parts of the state. Uh, we'll probably see some sunshine this morning, but then the clouds rotate right back in here this afternoon as the upper low deepens. And the main story early this morning, it's the wind. Uh, that's a look at the wind gusts. And you can see we've got some in the 30, 40 mile per hour bracket across the northern half of the state. The colors of green on that map, that would represent winds gusting to 40 miles per hour. And uh, needless to say, a wind advisory remains in effect for most of the state this morning. The pressure gradient should relax this afternoon, but still very windy through the morning hours. Temperatures are mostly in the uh, upper 50s and low 60s, and these numbers will not change much throughout the day today. Uh, highs 60 to 65 in most spots. Here's a look at the watch warning map around the nation. Wind issues as well for parts of the southern Plain states down into Texas. Risk of severe storms today on the South Atlantic coast from uh, eastern North Carolina down into the Florida Peninsula. Tomorrow, a marginal risk on the middle Atlantic coast. And day three, which is Saturday, no organized severe weather expected across the country. Here's the rain for the next seven days. Uh, amounts going to be pretty light for the state. In fact, for southwest Alabama, basically nothing. Uh, Mobile, Monroeville, Thomasville, Camden, Butler, places like that. But for the rest of the states, rain amounts generally under one inch. And we'll see a little light rain at times through Saturday. And then we'll break out into sunshine at full force statewide Sunday. Tropics and nor'easter is moving away from the United States up in the North Atlantic. And again, this is a cold core system. This is not tropical. Uh, Hurricane Center suggesting it might try and pick up a few subtropical characteristics. But again, that's not really a tropical storm. The rest of the Atlantic Basin, very quiet. So model fans, let's go. Here's the GFS, the 06Z run, valid today at 4. Look at that upper low beginning to evolve around Memphis and Little Rock. And again, for us, the day will be mostly cloudy, windy, cool, highs low to mid-60s, and again, some light rain at times. But again, the sun will break out, I think, for a while this morning. But the clouds will rotate right back in here this afternoon. Tomorrow... Uh, temperatures will struggle to reach the mid-50s. I think we're going to hover in the 50 to 54 degree range all day. How about that? Pretty good west wind, clouds, some patchy light rain or drizzle. Uh, that's more typical of mid-January instead of late October. Now, Saturday, again, I think the clouds linger for the northern half of the state. South Alabama should be in sunshine, and there could be some patchy light rain or drizzle, especially in areas north and east of Birmingham. Uh, and again, a very cool day. The high Saturday only in the middle 50s for the northern half of the state. And then Sunday, we're in sunshine statewide. A uh, beautiful day, the high close to 70. Monday, sunny. We're dry on Tuesday. Got a cold front approaching, and that probably comes through in dry fashion. This is Wednesday. Uh, the high Wednesday will likely drop into the low and mid 60s. We got to wave off to the west and then Thursday that shortwave energy comes in here and that will likely bring some rain. Probably nothing too heavy, but certainly a chance of uh, some rain at times on Thursday of next week. And we'll go out 10 days. This is Saturday the 6th. Troughing coming out into the Plain States and if this is right for Alabama, we're cool and dry. And look at the snow out there for parts of Nebraska, Kansas, Iowa and northern Missouri. Rain for Birmingham off the European Ensemble. The mean between 2 and 3 inches between now and the 11th of November. There's the big cool down tomorrow and Saturday with highs in the 50s, and those numbers might be a bit optimistic. And next week, highs mostly in the 60s, lows mostly in the 40s. And the new CPC outlook, this is for November 4th through November 10th. Once again, we're in the blue. Temperatures will likely be below average here across the Deep South. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 3 o'clock this afternoon. You can catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless.
Hey, this is James Spann. I think one of the best parts of my job, getting to do weather programs in schools. During regular times, I'm in a school once or twice a day, teaching students, mostly in elementary schools, things about weather and science. It's a really great part of my job. In fact, if I wasn't a television meteorologist, I would be a third grade science teacher. But one thing I've noticed over the years, some children, not all, but some, develop a genuine fear, a phobia of weather, especially thunderstorms and tornadoes. To offset that, I commissioned a couple of creative members of my family to write a series of children's books about weather. And the first one is out. Benny and Chipper, be prepared, not scared. Your kids will absolutely love Benny the Bear and his best pal, Chipper the Beagle Dog. It's a really good read about thunderstorms and tornadoes and how it's okay to be a little afraid, but you don't have to be really afraid. As long as you're prepared, you understand them, you know what to do, and you take care of yourself. Information is very powerful, and that starts a process of kids overcoming that fear. And this book is a really good read for any elementary school student. My friend Ginger Z of ABC News in New York, the chief meteorologist there, wrote a forward here. Jeremy Davis, an illustrator, really makes Benny and Chipper come to life. It's a great read, and your kids will love it. I would encourage you to get a copy, and we'll have future books with Benny and Chipper about things like thunderstorms and the science behind them, tornadoes and hurricanes. So get your copy today. Right now it's available online at SpanBook, with two N's, SpanBook. Dot com. And you'll see some other cool stuff there as well. Benny and Chipper, prepared not scared. Get your kids a copy today.